Dum, 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 dum. Welcome to another tutorial from Ace5 Studios and I'm Alexei. And today we're going to be talking about um, the standard render in Cinema 40, well, the physical one, and how you can um, do previews and see things. Like right now, let's click this render button here. This is a pack of stock people that I'm working on. Apparently, slightly controversial, but you know, small issues and Hopefully it's only like three people that find it controversial. Um, so, sorry, just... Anyway, so as you can see, we hit the render button, then we sit here and wait, and then we see little dots, and it slowly just shows us, you know, what we're gonna get. And the settings are, you know, the physical is enabled here, we have depth of field, set to adaptive and medium, and global illumination is a radiance cache and light mapping, and everything else is set on default. They don't really do anything else, so it's just, the way it is. But in Cinema 4D you can do this handy little thing and I prefer, if you don't know what render settings are yet, this is here, there's a, my render settings, the default one, and what you can do is you can control dra drag it and you can make another one. Let's call this one progressive. And when this one's selected we're going to change our global illumination here to no prepass, progressive, and we're going to go to physical and set this to also progressive. And now it's important to also make sure this little white dot is switched over as well, because you can switch, you can change the settings without changing the location of the, which is the actual active render setting. So make sure you switch it down to progressive and then you hit render and voila, you get a nice progressive result and it starts rendering. The only serious difference between uh, these two renders, it could be is that in global animation here, you only have two, two diffuse depths by default. So you should probably switch that to at least like four. Uh, on some scenes, it'll be very noticeable there's a lack of these bounces because light mapping has like 16 bounces by default. And there, and this is pretty much the entire quick tip. Also, I mean, this is the render settings as part of this quick tip, so you can just switch back to it and when you do the final render, switch back to it and you're good to go. Um, but yeah, and all your, also, you know, this saves all the stuff in here. So it saves your save path, save your multi-pass, your whatever options. So if you want to have a quick and dirty render, you can add the render setting here and then you can have a quick and dirty render. But for me personally, I just use it for progressive because it's super handy when you need to quickly see how your lighting is changing or how a material is changing. And also now when you use your Alt-R, the render region, um, or interactive render region, also you have the same thing now. So if I pick a material and say I get one of my, I don't know, the pink, I think that's the texture, I hope it's the texture. And we switch it to you know green. We can see the change almost instantly, and we can see exactly what kind of green is. If it's too bright, if it's too dark, and you don't have to wait for the whole scene to you know render through it. So this is my super handy tip for using physical render, and then just don't forget to switch back to render settings when you're done. There you go. That was what I call of three minutes. Um, don't forget to check out my website for more tutorials and quick tips. And don't forget to check out my five man. And this pack will hopefully be available by the end of the week. Although, seeing as I've been working on it for like nearly a year, I think, was when I started this. Anyway, hopefully soon. <laughs>